my fans on in my bathroom. It's like it just doesn't turn off. Hello, so for today's video, we're going to be discussing the new Hourglass Vanish airbrush concealer so I haven't really seen a lot of people talk about this I'm very excited about it because I love the vanish stick um, I also love the liquid as well the liquid's actually really nice I feel like a lot of people sort of love it or hate it but I really enjoy it it does make me a little bit oily but I don't really mind that it depends what sort of primer I use with it even though they said not to use primer but if I don't use a primer it gets oily anyway that's not what we're talking about we're talking about the concealer so I picked this up from Space NK and it cost me £32, which is pretty expensive for a concealer. But for Hourglass, I just feel like it's worth it. You do get two ounces, which I think is six, six millilitres, which actually isn't that much. I think Tarte Shape Tape is 10, even though I don't like Tarte Shape Tape. And I think Cover Effects, I think it's 12. I'm not entirely sure, but it is... It's not a lot of concealer. So I picked up the shade Birch, which on their website, it doesn't actually tell you if it's like... Because I, when I look for like concealers and foundations, I look for like light with warm undertones, you know, medium, blah, blah, blah undertones and all of that stuff. So when you go on there, it does um, tell you, oh, if you're this shade in our foundation, then you'll like this concealer. But obviously, if you've never tried the foundation, you're not going to know what concealer to get. So I did go with this one, which is the lightest of the bunch, and I picked it up because I am, I wear, what do I wear in the liquid? I wear bisque in the liquid, and I'm porcelain in the stick, but the stick's too pink, so I just prefer a yellow undertone in my foundation, but with a concealer I prefer a more pink or neutral undertone, just because I feel like it balances me out when I'm because I'm not exactly too yellow, but I'm not pink. It's I'm weird, but I'm not... Yeah, it's strange. But anyway, that's what I picked up. So on Space Enkin's website, it does say, Blur Imperfections with Hourglass Vanish, which is trademarked now, by the way. So you know it's theirs. Um, airbrush Concealer, a weightless liquid concealer that delivers full, undetectable coverage for flawless, long-lasting finish. So that gets me really, really excited. The long wear formula provides crease proof coverage while naturally brightening and refreshing the skin from morning into evening. It helps to achieve a radiant, more even complexion and disguises the appearance of pigments, dark circles and blemishes. I have got a lot of dark circles. I hardly sleep, so, you know, I'm going to need something like this. It's available in 22 shades to complete and colour correct every skin tone. 22 shades isn't bad isn't great. I want to say it's going to cover everyone, but, you know, whatever. It is vegan friendly, cruelty free, it's waterproof. Uh, yeah. Oh, so a flocked applicator that will not pour or drag across delicate skin. I really like that as well, because obviously the under eye is a very, very delicate area, you want to be careful with it. So... It lasts up to 16 hours, which I feel like is good. Like, when people are like, oh, 24 hours, no one wears a concealer for 24 hours, no one wears a foundation for 24 hours. It's just, no one does it. Unless, well, I mean, someone might do it if they're literally out all day and all night, but, I mean, if you like the party life, then, you know, you might like 24 hours. Um, so, yeah, there's only one review, and they've given it five stars, but I don't want to read it because... You know, I'm, I want to test it out myself. And I also did pick up the brush that they recommended. So let me find the brush so we can read the description. So this is the Seamless Finish Concealer Brush. And I've, I picked this up because I was like, oh yeah, like, I'm intrigued with like a good concealer brush really. So this is pretty pricey though. Like I swear it was like £32 as well, maybe £34. Let's just find it. Yeah, it's £35. Which is obviously very expensive for a brush. Like, I mean, I buy, like, probably a brush collection for, like, 40, 50 quid. So, it is an awful lot. There's one review. They've given it five star, but I'm not going to read it. So, the description on the brush is effortlessly... Eff I can't say that word. Effortlessly... Eff oh, we're just going to move past that. Apply liquid powder or cream concealer with the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Concealer Brush. A high performance makeup brush that helps to achieve precision application and seamless blending. 
It's got cashmere soft bristles arranged in a half moon design which perfectly hug the contours of the face and under eye area to create a flawless looking finish. This brush has the ideal shape, density and texture to deliver a precision amount of product where needed and smoothly blend into place. So obviously they're going to say it's ideal for like their concealers and their foundations and all of that stuff. It's vegan friendly and cruelty free. Um, so yeah. I'll show you what the brush looks like. This is super cute. I expected something round. I don't know why. Like when I was looking at the pictures, I was like, oh yeah, it looks round. But, I've got to get all of this stuff off. So it is like their classic brown packaging that they have on pretty much everything. So as you can see, it is a half moon. So when you turn it, it looks like so. So yeah, I feel like is really gonna get into the eye area really really nice so now we're just gonna go ahead and apply this so we'll show you what the concealer looks like yet again the same packaging the brown lid and everything I'll show you the foundation it's actually that's like their trademark packaging I think it's so beautiful I love hourglass packaging it's like sleek it's stunning really so we're just gonna take a little bit of this Look at this doe foot applicator though, like, I know it's like, oh, it's not tugging the eye area, but it's like, quite flat. I like long as gear. I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, I'm going to zoom you in so we can get a good old look at this. So I'm going to put a little bit on the under eyes. This might be a bit light for me, but we'll make it work. It does feel... I'm not even joking, like really soft. It is strange. Like usually when you put concealer on, you sort of feel a little bit of a drag. But I don't really feel much with this. It feels like it's just gliding on. Super nice. Wow. Okay. So what I like to do with concealer, I like to let it sit there for a little bit before I go ahead and blend it out to feel like it works better for me so you know that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna sit here for like three three minutes and then we're gonna blend it out with the brush okay so now we're gonna go ahead and blend this out so I'm gonna blend out the concealer <laughs> so I'm gonna start off with the chin it might be a little bit bright for me but I feel like I can make it work I don't know how I feel about it with the nose. It might be a bit big for the nose area. I do prefer something just a little bit skinny, just so I can sort of keep it in place. I mean, it's blending out like a dream. It's blending out super easy. No complaints. It's blending out really nice. So now for the under eyes. This is the true test for me. Um, I'm very picky with concealers. I have like two top tier concealers, which is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer and the ColourPop one. And then I have ones that I sort of like, but I'm not like in love with. I love this brush though. This is beautiful. It's just blending it out it's so quick, so easy. I really like it. Do you know what else I love? Like, if sometimes a concealer can be a bit dry, I love the Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluid. I just like putting a little bit of that on underneath just to really brighten and sort of bring back some luminosity back to the under eyes. That's really, really good. So, I've zoomed you in so you can get a bit of a closer look. So obviously it is a little bit bright for me, but I feel like once we've got the rest of the face on, it should be okay. So yeah, these are what the under eyes look like. It feels really smooth under there. Obviously it is a little bit bright for me, but I don't mind a brighter concealer. I feel like once we get the rest of the face on, it'll be really nice. Yeah, so this is what it looks like, like up close. Yeah, I'm just, I really actually do like it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set it. Oh, wrong way. So I'm going to take the Cover FX um, 
Perfecting Setting Powder in Translucent White. Just going to take that on a crown brush C530. Then we can see what it looks like when it's set. So I'm just going to take that brush. The hourglass brush. This is, does it have like a number or anything? It doesn't even say the name on it. It's like the seamless thing. We've been talking about it all this time. Just going to make sure that's nice and blended. Set it. This is what it looks like close up. I really, really like it. It looks smooth. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit of texture and stuff. It's the under eyes. It's, we're going to get some sort of crease in if we've got, like, you know, lines under there and stuff. But I, I actually really like how it looks. I think it looks really fresh. I'm super, super impressed. I think this is beautiful. So we're going to finish off the rest of the face. So but I'll do a check in time there because obviously this is the time I know we're in it. So basically it is half past two. So we'll do, do, we, we will do a check in later on just to see how it wears. To see if it's still very full coverage. If it still looks as good as this. So, yeah, I'm going to put the rest of my face on just so you can see what it all looks like finished. And then, yeah. Okay, so this is the completed makeup look. So, yeah, I still really like how the concealer looks. Obviously, I just wanted you to see it with a full face so you know what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's super, super beautiful. Obviously, we'll see what it's like at the end of the day. It could be a hot mess. But so far, I'm loving it. So everything I'm wearing will be listed in the bottom bar as well in case you wanted to check out the products. So yeah, I'll do a check in later on. Okay, so I know there's a lot of background noise, my fan's on, but bathroom lighting is the best lighting I'm gonna get because my lighting in my bedroom is like really yellow. But obviously I'm on my phone, I'm not on my camera either. I'm trying to get some closer so you can see. And it looks really nice on my forehead still and like my T-zone and stuff. Also I look a little bit oily, but that's because the foundation makes me a little bit dewy which I'm not really mad about because it used to be really oily but now I've just sort of learned how to deal with it a bit better but I mean it looks pretty nice it feels really soft like my under eyes feel really smooth they don't look very dry they look a little bit dry but um I mean my under eyes are a little bit dry anyway but I mean, I'm really impressed. I think this concealer is really, really good. Like, everyone talks about Tarte Shape Tape all the time. And I'm just like, why? There's so many better concealers out there. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Obviously, I will try out some more. Um, so you'll see in future videos me using it and stuff. But I, yeah, I can't complain. I love it. I love Hourglass products. Like, their Vanish line is phenomenal. Like, honestly, I just, yeah, I think it's great. So that's the end of the video. Oh, by the way, the time is like 11 o'clock, so it's been on for like eight hours, eight and a half hours or something. So it's been on for a long time and it's still looking good. Anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>